Viru. Huh? Don't waste time. Go and study. I'm not wasting time. I'm writing a poem. Poem? Oh wow! A poem? Share with us too. Yes, yes. Why not? Listen. This is the greatest poem of all time. I have just written this rhyme. Huh? <coughs> what kind of poem is this? Wow! What a poem! You should become a poet. You should attend poetry gatherings. Noni? Huh? No. Don't give false praise to Chiru. Otherwise, his condition might become like that of Gopal. Huh? What? Like Gopal? Who is Gopal? What happened to Gopal, Amma? Wait, wait. I'll tell you. Yay! It's story time with Sudhama. Good luck, Gopal. If you don't study and learn, you will end up becoming like a frog in a well. Gopal had been hearing this from his father since his childhood. Just because he had absolutely no interest in studies, he lagged far behind other children in academics. As time passed, Gopal grew up. His father passed away and he got married. However, he couldn't pursue his education, which left him with no job. Making his life very difficult. Hmm? You only sleep the entire day and don't even bother to do any work. What are you doing? Why don't you do some work to earn some money? At least there will be some food to eat at home. But... Uh... What kind of work? Uh, I have heard that King Vidyadhar likes poetry a lot. And if he likes someone's poem, he even gives them a reward. If you write a poem somehow and recite it to the king, who knows, he might like your poem too. Poetry and me. Mm, it's better to write a poem than to hear her taunts. All right. All right. I will try. <laughs> The next morning, Gopal took a bath and sat under a tree to write a poem. But he had never studied, so he had no idea about poetry. Not a single word came to his mind. Just then, he saw a pig in the pond, restlessly rubbing its back against a tree. Upon seeing it, Gopal blurted out, Rubbing so much can lead to a life-threatening situation. Wow, wow, what a poem. Rubbing so much can lead to a life-threatening situation. I am sure the king will like this poem. Considering it a poem, he quickly wrote those lines on a leaf. Now I will recite this poem to the king. Mm -hmm. Hey, stop! Huh? Hey, where are you going, huh? I'm going to meet the king. The time to meet the king is over. This is his leisure time. Now go from here. What should I do? If I go back without reciting the poem, my wife will scold me a lot. I'll have to find a way out. Hmm? Huh? I have an important message for the king. Please ensure that the message reaches him anyhow. After hearing Gopal's words, the soldier placed the leaf containing the message on the king's bed while he was asleep. The next morning, when the king woke up, a barber had come there to shave him. Before starting, the barber began sharpening his razor on a stone. At that moment, the king saw the leaf on the bed and he picked it up huh? to read. Rubbing so much can lead to a life-threatening situation. It seems like a secret message. Huh? Hmm. 
I'm sure the barber is sharpening his razor to kill me. Arrest this man. He's here to kill me. My king, please forgive me. I did all this because the neighboring king told me to do so. Gopal was called into the royal court. Who are you? And how do you know that the enemy was planning to take my life? Oh, oh, my king. Uh, uh, actually, hmm. I'm pretty sure that you possess profound knowledge of astrology. That's why you knew everything in advance. So from today, I declare you the royal astrologer of this court. Huh? Without <laughs> much thought, Gopal accepted the king's offer. But lies inevitably come to light sooner or later. A few days later, someone stole Queen Ketki's most precious and beloved necklace. My king, my king, my beloved necklace. Someone has stolen huh? my beloved necklace. Huh? Mm, <laughs> calm down, my queen. I promise. <laughs> to bring back that necklace to you by any means necessary ah. soldiers bring gopal before me my king did huh? you call me gopal just as you saved my life with your astrology skills use your knowledge to find out who has committed the crime of stealing the queen's necklace oh, oh no my wife has trapped me in this what are you thinking? Uh, my king, my astrology skills work best in solitude. I will go in isolation and use my knowledge to find out about the queen's <laughs> necklace. <laughs> Gopal had trapped himself in a situation that he had created and he didn't know any astrology. He went alone and started blaming his wife as all this had happened because of her. Your husband is in trouble today because of you. Now no one can save him from the king. The queen's maid got anxious upon hearing Gopal's words because it was she who had conspired to steal the queen's necklace along with her husband. Forgive us, O oh Astrologer. Tempted by greed, we stole the Queen's necklace. We will tell you where the necklace is. Just don't tell anything to the King, or else he will punish us severely. All right, all right. I will forgive you this time. Go and place the necklace behind the tree which is behind the palace. <laughs> oh, I am saved. Hail to the king! O oh, king, I have found out. The necklace is below the tree behind the <laughs> royal palace. I have sent the soldiers. <laughs> My king, Gopal is telling the truth. Here is the queen's necklace. <laughs> wow, Gopal! Your astrology skills are indeed extraordinary. Gopal narrowly escaped one more time. But now, his challenges were about to increase because the fame of his astrology skills had started spreading in nearby kingdoms as well. Your Majesty, I have been sent by King Himabindu. I have heard that your astrologer Gopal is very knowledgeable. Our king wants to consult with him. That is why he has sent me. You have heard it right. Tell me what do you want to know? If Gopal can tell me what is inside this box using his skills, then I will acknowledge his knowledge. Why not, Gopal? Gopal was once again stranded and he remembered his father's words. Uh, my father was right. I am indeed a frog in a well. <gasps> no one understood huh? Gopal's words except that minister because there was indeed a frog inside the box. You truly are a great astrologer. I was the only one who knew there was a frog inside the box. Gopal once again escaped the situation due to his luck. But he knew that this game couldn't go on for long. <laughs> so he planned a strategy to get rid of it. My king, I had only three chances to use my astrology skills. 
I have utilized all three chances in your service. So I request you to relieve me from this position. Now I want to live a simple life. Oh? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> the king agreed to his request and bid him farewell <laughs> after giving him lots of gold and silver. After that, huh? Gopal led a happy and prosperous life with his wife. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> huh? Huh? What happened, Tiru? Uh, uh, Amma, I don't want to be the frog in a well. Poetry is not my cup of tea. That's why I will focus on my studies. Not everyone's luck is like Gopal who was huh? saved by luck every time. Really? <laughs> <laughs> If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, Murthy Media. Batnu hi batnu me tappu se tappke, chakhe vahi jo gappu se gappke, sabutsa, sacha sa, kisa sunane. Aai hu mein khata mitha jagane, chulbul se bachi mein. I'm gonna make you mine.